Long COVID, when will this go away? A year after suffering from COVID-related symptoms, my sister has only the barest ability to smell. Like a ghost, her sense of smell floats in and out. She moves around from work to home and never knows if this moment or the next, her sense of smell will come online. For someone with allergies, she no longer has a heads up that entering a room or being around people or triggers may make conditions inhospitable to her because while she can't smell, smelling or not smelling doesn't affect her body's attack on sinuses and eyes if irritants exist. She's joined an estimated 23 million Americans affected by COVID. Of those, approximately 1 million experience far more serious long-term effects and even disability from what is now being called long COVID. Long COVID or post-COVID conditions include a wide range of new, returning, or ongoing health problems that range from the loss of smell, like my sister's, to aggravated heart and respiratory conditions, to fatigue and loss of taste. The symptoms can last anywhere from weeks to months or even years and have been known to disappear and then reappear. Generally, long COVID conditions begin to appear about a month after suffering from COVID. Most commonly reported symptoms include fatigue, fever, shortness of breath, cough, chest pain, heart palpitations, brain fog, headaches, sleep problems, lightheadedness, depression and or anxiety, loss of smell or taste, joint or muscle pain, and rash. The Centers for Disease Control reported earlier this spring that one in four people over the age of 65 continues to suffer from persistent or the onset of long-term conditions that might have been contributed to by a previous COVID-19 Ill illness. One in five of those under 65 suffer post-COVID symptoms. The effects prevent 1.6 million Americans from returning to the workforce. As more persons are exposed to and infected by SARS-CoV-2, reports of patients who experience persistent symptoms or organ dysfunction after acute COVID-19 and develop post-COVID conditions have increased, reported the study. Because patients recover so slowly, there is a buildup in the pool of people experiencing long COVID, causing an increased demand on a healthcare system that is already overwhelmed. While most people who experience long COVID recover over time, getting medical attention can help people recover sooner. However, it is not the panica we have come to expect. Medical providers have a limited understanding of long COVID and diagnosis can take a longer time before sufferers can be provided appropriate care or treatment as a result. In addition, those that experience severe COVID may suffer from multi-organ effects that eventually create new health risks such as diabetes, heart conditions, or neurological conditions according to the CDC. What you should know, unvaccinated people have a higher risk of experiencing long COVID. People who did not test positive are not exempt from having long COVID. Long COVID affects more of the people who experience severe COVID illness than those who had milder cases. There is currently no test to diagnose long COVID, which makes it difficult for medical providers to pinpoint long COVID as the reason for new medical conditions. Most people will experience a lessening of long COVID symptoms over time, but that time frame may be weeks, months, or even years. The American Medical Associates what Doctors Wish Patients New Series is a platform offering doctors comments and discussions about various health-related questions, including wearing masks, getting enough sleep, and the benefits and the ne negatives of caffeine. Discussion about COVID testing covers an overview of at-home testing kits, whether a breath test may be useful, and other helpful tips for staying safe and healthy. What is most likely to develop long COVID? Women people who experienced severe COVID illness, people who did not get vaccinated, people with under, other underlying health issues, people who experienced multi-system inflammatory syndrome during or after a COVID illness, people with health inequality, inequities such as racial, ethnic, minority groups, or people with disabilities being overweight, already having heart disease or high blood pressure. Experts believe that as many as 50 million to 100 million people could become ineffected, infected between now and next spring. Many of those people for the second or third time because 
Researchers continue to struggle to understand the cause of long COVID. There is no prescribed treatment. Doctors treat by addressing other medical conditions. For instance, medical providers have found that acupuncture and physical therapy have provided some benefits with muscle pain, for instance, and an anti-inflammatory diet can help those experiencing increased risk of heart attacks and heart disease. Antidepressants have been helpful in treating brain fog, brain fog, even for people who do not suffer from depression. The best way to avoid long COVID is to get vaccinated and stay up to date with boosters, but at least one study indicates that the best prevention is to take all reasonable steps, including masking and keeping a distance from others to avoid infection. If you do experience long COVID symptoms that are interfering with your life, seek medical attention. The sooner you seek care, the sooner you can be evaluated and started on a rehabilitation program.